Fierce friend. Shots. Good to 
that debris could be useful. Hunt with me. Hope no one notices me here. to burn some cargo. Just like you! Please! Help! Yeah! 
You're untied. Go! like a Spartan. There's resolve in you. We have that in common. I saw innocents trapped in the flames. The ones in the warehouse. I freed them already. A good soldier acts when he's told. A great one is two steps ahead. Thank you. My name's Cassandra. I'd thank you too, if I knew who you were. Razidas of Sparta. You're a newcomer to Corinth. You're a spy too? An old Spartan tactic? Hmm. I have my ways. I get the sense that's a Corinthian hobby. Anthusa has her Etera watching from every post. Ah, Anthusa. We disagree, but have a common enemy. The monger? We agree he should be killed, but we differ on how. So... Sparta also has a monger problem. What do you know about him? His weapon has a far reach. Corinth is allied with Sparta. It's our duty to protect them. Then working alongside Amphusa is your best bet. If she had her way, the monger would be flayed in the streets. Sparta wants him dealt with quietly. What do you want to do with him? Right now, the monger rules Corinth. I want to replace him with minimal... A shed. Killing him and his men doesn't seem to fit your peaceful proposal. Nothing else has been successful. Trust me. What happened? We arrested his top men, armed the citizens, tried to stir the police against him. 
It never came to be. The only thing left to try is a quick slice of the blade. That would do it. We'd lure him into Corinthia's sacred cave, and it'd be over. Anthusa has given me her word, and I've given her mine. She's hired me to kill the monger. She did? She has something I need, and the monger is in my way. Keep your spear pointed his way, and Sparta will thank you. I was Spartan, once. Once? Until I was thrown off Mount Aietos as a child, and left for dead. You're the daughter of General Nikolaos? All of Sparta knows your name! And here you are, alive! Impossible! I survived. I raised myself alone, while life continued in Sparta. Never mind being a Spartan. Those of good character will forgive, and should be forgiven. I'm on the hunt for my mother, Mirini. And the only way is through Anthusa. Yes, Mirini. You knew Nikolaos? A good general, but a stubborn Spartan. ...and rewarded for his loyalty. But he disappeared, and his body was never found. The state pronounced him dead. That's all right. I haven't seen him since I was a child. You don't know anything about Mirini, do you? I know that no one should have to endure such tragedy alone. And I heard she left Sparta that night. No one has forgotten Mirini. From what I know, she wanted them to forget. There's no going back now. The displaced can always find their way home. The gods have just decided you must fight for it. They couldn't make it any easier. Chin up, Spartan. Easy doesn't exist. Goodbye, Brasidas. We'll meet again. I'm in the fight with you. Show courage. I don't want to be spotted here.
Your plan seemed to work. The Monger's thugs ambushed me. I heard. I also heard you had no problems dealing with them. It wasn't my first fight in Corinth. Or your last. We're going to take the Monger to task at the theater. I've arranged a Corinthian drama no one will forget. Brasidas is worried about the anarchy that could follow the Monger's death. He wants him dead, but wants it done quietly. That man is a long way from Sparta. This is Corinthia, so we'll do it the Corinthian way. I agree with Brasidas. I say we take him to the sacred cave. This isn't what we planned. The monger needs to be erased from existence. We'll fight him in a private place, and he'll die. A simple transaction, remember? If you insist, we'll meet you at the secret cave. Let me know if you have questions.
So it is you, a demigod in the soot and shit streets of Corinth, killing my men, helping those fucking parasites? That's me. Ah, arrogant. Just like your mother. You'll never rule these streets, you pig! Oh, you bet your pretty face I will! Get your filthy hands! And when I do, I'll rip your fucking head right off! And send it to the cult as proof! She was big fucking trouble, but I'll pay her back. When I'm done with you, I'm gonna find your mother and bring her your fucking head! Demos will wish she was watching this. Not if I bring her yours first. Get the fuck out of my city! It's not yours anymore. Get the fuck off my streets!
wish I could have been there to watch Demos break your neck. Don't make me laugh. Wait! No! The people of Corinth must see him die! Anthusa... Take him out of here and bring him to the theater! Show everyone his cowardice! Dead. Here he is. It's a shame the people don't get to see him bleed. His cries should have rung out across the city. He's dead. I've delivered. Your turn. Huh. Yes. You're right. He's dead. Take his body to the square. Let the people get a last good look at him. As for you, Cassandra, I owe you information. We'll talk about your mother, just not here. I can't give you enough thanks for what you've done. <laughs> and for once, I can also thank Alcibiades. He sent you here, after There's all. There's more to him than meets the eye. He knew you could save Corin from that beast. Everybody benefits, everybody wins. You've proven to be a very valuable business partner. Speaking of business, you owe me, Anthusa. Yes, Mirini. She came and left Corinthia in a flurry, but made an impression on me. Like a great storm. I remember that part of her well. A strong woman with great intensity. She wanted to find her place here in Corinth, but never found what she was looking for. You speak of her kindly. You were her friend. Perhaps, on the surface, but she had a great pain in the middle of her that no one could get to. How did you come to know her? There was so much rain that night. I saw her, sleeping in the streets and gave her shelter. She was a vagrant? I wonder what my father would think of that. I didn't know what happened to her. All she told me was that she'd left the place that tore her apart. Sparta. Did she find work? She kept to herself, with one eye always on the port. She could have stayed with us, but I think she was looking for something else. Was there no mention of her past? A husband? Family? Nothing. Speaking of Sparta only brought her misery. It's like a part of her was missing. After Corinth, where did she go? That? I don't know. She must have given you some hint. I don't think even she knew where she was headed. All I know is she won a ship thanks to a lucky dice throw. Tihi owed her that much, at least. I remember the ship's name well. Siren Song. Siren Song? It was famous for weathering all that Poseidon threw in its path. Thank you, Anthusa. May the gods look well upon you, Cassandra. 
Visit me anytime. I'll catch you up on Corinth's affairs. It seems I have an interesting future ahead of me. So do I. Siren Sword. If I can find someone who knows the ship, I'll be one step closer to finding her. I should have enough information now. I should head back to Athens to see Aspasia.
Hippocrates. It's good you're here. Is it? Look around you. Athens is dying. What do you think is going on? I don't know. What I do know is that it kills without discrimination. Rich, poor, philosopher or farmer. And I'm helpless to stop it. What's happening to the victims? Leaking, postulant rashes, raging fevers, pallid, sweaty skin. I find many dying in their own excrement. Is there nothing that can be done? I try and ease the suffering where I can. The plague is spreading through the victims' excretions. I'm sure of it. The bodies must be burned. Your compassion for the people has always inspired me. Unfortunately, compassion is all I have to give. The gods have shown me how arrogant I had become. We're only mortal. And the gods like to remind us whenever they can. I need help burning the bodies, Cassandra. Fanatics are roaming the streets trying to stop me in my work. What fanatics? The followers of Ares. Superstitious fools. They believe burning the dead is sacrilege and attacked me. Can you believe it? These followers of Ares don't worry me. I'll help burn the bodies. Where are the fanatics trying to stop us? I can't lose you too. Uh, can you just do it? Wait? It's easy so I can get paid! Oh! <sighs> 
steaming. Another body safe from the fanatics. Ah. That's all of them. Sandra, you're back. Gotta run, sorry. Wait, where? I'll be right back. See you at Aspasias. Sometimes I think you are too much like me. I didn't expect to see you. What do you think you're doing? You're driving this mob to madness! This! This is nothing! I will make Athens great again! Understand! Pericles is a sick man! Don't blame him for that! Blame him for bringing this curse that creeps our once great city! <laughs> Aspasia. Oh, Cassandra. You returned to Athens. What's left of Athens? The world we've built is crumbling at our feet. It's as loud as a battlefield out there, and as violent. They're calling for Pericles' head, as though he should know how to handle this catastrophe. No one is prepared for the end of the world. I came to talk to you. I found out some things about my mother. Her name, her ship... Cassandra, it's not the time. Pericles is dying. He won't see me. He won't let Hippocrates in his room. He only babbles about going to his precious Parthenon. The reason I came back to Athens was to talk to you about Mirini. Your mother will live to see tomorrow. My love won't live to see another sunset. You've had many sunsets with him. I've spent all my nights alone. <sighs> Pericles needs treatment, and the gods know he won't let me in. He respects you. Could you go to him? I could try. If you do, I will make the time to talk about your mother. For now, he needs your help. It's worth a shot.
told you? It's Cassandra. Yes. Come in. It's embarrassing. Someone so strong seeing me like this. I admit, you don't quite look yourself. I don't feel like myself either. I brought your drugs. Ah, yes. It's usually Phoebe who does the delivering. At least I'm alive. Though I can't say the same for my city. It's a shadow of what it was. Well, it will belong to Cleon now. He will have to lift it out of its sorry state. Ah. Ah. I wish to see it with my own eyes. Come to the balcony. Much has changed. I can't even stand up straight to look death in the eye. You'll recover sooner if you let Hippocrates see you. It's my time. The plague chooses no favorites. I fear I've failed Athens. Its people... Spasia? No, you haven't. Ah, you're kind, but I've lost. Aspasia needs protection, as does Athens. I thought I gave enough to Athena, but it seems it isn't so. I should be out there, on the streets. You'd be overtaken. There are mobs, and Cleon's doing nothing to calm them. Thank the gods, Cleon won't see me like this. But that's all I can thank the gods for. They've turned on me. The gods definitely aren't in Athens. I hardly recognize it here. It's like the Tartarus. Athens' fate is decreed. All we can do now is wait. You should go back inside. You need to rest. Where I should be is in the Parthenon, my greatest legacy to Athens. We need the gods' blessing. But Aspasia... Aspasia's right. She often is. But not about this. Yes. I'll go inside. Thank you, Cassandra. Tell my Aspasia I was a good boy and took my drugs. I will. Please let me in. He took his drugs without complaint. Thank you. Something wrong? I expected Phoebe back by now. I saw her in the crowds outside. Did you send her somewhere? I had her go to Anastasios to see about a ferry. As soon as Pericles is strong enough, we're leaving Athens. We have to. But now she's missing. I'm sure she's all right. Pasia, there's a plague. You've seen the streets. She's just a child. Give her the credit she deserves. She's more of a fighter than I was at her age. I told Pericles the cult is in Athens. It's too dangerous. The cult? I thought it was the sickness talking. I'm going to look for her. Where is Anastasios' house? It's across from the Odeon of Pericles. Here.
This looks like the place. Let us hunt together. Nosos kiklonime! Happened here. I'm glad Phoebe wasn't here. Hopefully, she's safe. Demos must be carrying through on his threat. This was savage, done to send a message.
can't fight forever. Mother of all, I greet you. Aniazu. Cassandra! Are you all right? I need to speak to Aspasia. We must find Pericles first. He's missing. I don't fucking care! Tell me where Aspasia is! Cassandra! <sighs> I'm sorry, Phoebe. Aspasia went to find Pericles at the Parthenon. She should be there. I think we'd better go with her. I agree, my friend, I agree. There you are, Cassandra. Quickly, Pericles may be inside. What's gotten into you? Phoebe was killed by cult guards before I could get to her. Oh, no. Dear Phoebe. She died alone in the street. No, you found her. She wasn't alone. I know how much of a friend she was to you. I won't let them get away with this. You have to fight for her. Aspasia, you're here. Any sign of Pericles? If he's here, he's inside praying. He refused to stay safe in the villa. Things have gotten even worse in the Agora. It's madness. Speak later and act now, Pericles. <gasps> Go! Yeah! 
All is lost now. He was a great man. Perhaps greater than we even knew. We need to get her out of Athens. We'll take my ship. We have to leave. Don't let him die in vain. Never. We have to move quickly. Stay close, just in case. I've seen better days. Cleon has ordered that no one leave Athens. And he wants Aspasia brought to him. I'm not going. Leave! Don't let them go. going to stay, Cassandra. What? Why? My work is here. I can't leave the Athenians in the state they're in. You don't need us to protect Aspasia. Leave Athens to us. You saw what happened to Pericles. You want the same to happen to you? If every dissenting voice disappears, the people won't turn against him. They need me here. 
You're sure? I have lived as an Athenian, and I will die as an Athenian. Then do something for me, both of you. Of course. Retrieve Phoebe's body. Give her a proper burial. Everything she deserves, and more. Thank you. Time to go, Cassandra. And I expect to see you both again, alive. The farther we get from Athens, the quieter it grows. As though it's peaceful. But I know better. I'm sorry, Aspasia. About Pericles. And Athens. You have no need to apologize. For anything. I did everything I could to keep people safe. No one thinks otherwise, Cassandra. The cult of Cosmos simply had a plan we didn't see soon enough, and they struck when the time was right. I'll make each of them beg for mercy before I kill them. That time will come. For now, let us look to the future. Do you have a heading? I was hoping you would help me with that. Yes, of course. This woman, Phinecas. Her ship was called Siren Song. Phinecas. Yes, I know the name. Last anyone heard, her ship was docked on the island of Naxos. <sighs> then we go to Naxos to see Phinecas. Get here. 
You'll find Finicas in the villa at the center of town. All the city's business is conducted there. Then, that's my next stop. Have you thought about what you'll say to her? I have questions about my past. My mother has answers she kept from me that I need. About your family? There are secrets. Someone important told me she would be able to help me understand. You should be cautious. What do you mean? Think about your questions carefully. What we know about our past can shape our future. We'll reach Naxos soon. We've had quite the adventure. Yes, although I don't think it's over yet. Where will you go? I have some business to attend to before moving on, and I have friends in the city I need to see. I doubt there's a speck of land in the Aegean where you don't know someone. You might be right. It comes with a profession, I suppose. And who knows, maybe I'll see you again. It doesn't seem that big of an island. Anything's possible. I'd like to know if all the trouble to find Finicas was worth it. Mm, I'd like to know, too. Much to do, and many unknowns on our horizon.
blood or change, Finicus must choose. This artist work is everywhere. Their dislike is as clear as water. The work of a coward. If they meant it, you'd have a sword to your throat right now. You saw that crowd. Words are powerful. They're probably gossiping and plotting as we speak. This rebel obviously wants attention. Someone should give it to them. I had a similar thought. And I think that someone could be you. Tell me where they are and I'll put an end to this. See the pigment of the paint. It's a rare color and I only know one artist who chooses to use it. Last I heard, he lives in a cave at the Rutsuna waterfall. I know artists are sensitive, but something really made this one mad. The city thinks war is coming, and they're not wrong. But they're certain that Finicus is the one driving us toward disaster. Is the rest of this art as subtle? The more of the same. Death threats. The dust in Naxos must settle. Or Finicus will be killed and replaced as Archon. I'll stop them. We cannot answer their threats with violence of our own. That will add more fuel to the fire. If that's what you want. It is what she wants. Finicus wants to fight for the people, not against them. Just stop them making any more art. Mm, if you consider this art. This came from whatever wrote this message. I'll take it to the art merchant. <gasps> There's some hair stuck in the paint. Maybe from the brush the artist used? I'd better ask Angelus. <laughs> This color looks strange. I should ask the art merchant where the artist could have got it. I have some things to ask you. Go on. It's the slow season. I found these rock fragments near the graffiti. Do you recognize them? That, my friend, is emery. Used for various artistic endeavors. Won't give the pottery as good of a shine in that state, though. Emery? The rock? Is it found on Naxos? It's mined for me Rotsuna waterfall. This pigment is only used in the graffiti. Has anyone been buying this from you? Hmm. I do remember a man asking about this color now that you mention it. Just him? Yes, from what I remember. I didn't have any when he asked. He seemed impatient and asked if anyone else sold it. I found this hair stuck in the paint of the graffiti. Does it mean anything to you? Many artists here on Naxos use wild animal hairs to form the bristles of their paintbrushes. What animal is this hair from? It's too long to be a deer. I've heard that some thrill seekers like to get hairs from the bears that live on the island. They're mad if you ask me, but artists are an unusual sort. Thank you. Eroso. Maybe you'll buy something next time. There's that artist. Found you.
together we hunt. Enemies no longer. There you are. I've been looking for you. Who's I? Finica sent me. To find and stop the artist. You. You're here to kill me. That's up to you. Please, Mistios. Finica is a great leader. Tell her I said that. And just a hand, not a mind. Then you're a gutless sheep. You write what you don't believe. I didn't know it would go this far. Tell me why you did it. I was commissioned. A contract from soldiers. They have power. You try to find people like that. I would. I'm not spineless. Miss Dios, I'm a poor artist. The Archon promised Rachmi I've never dreamed of. And look where it got you. I'll stop now. I promise. Not another word. You made a mistake. A big one. As long as you own up to it. I do, Miss Dios. I do. Here, my contract. See for yourself. We're finished here. You won't hear from me again. Join me, noble one.
won't be intimidated. Stock the barracks and double the patrols. If Paros is sending them, I want to know the moment they make landfall. Yes, Archon. But Archon, please, Zestis. the merchants have... I understand your concerns. But protecting the town and the quarries is what's most important. You may all go. Meeting is over. Cassandra. How? When I close my eyes, I can still see you falling. I thought I had lost you. Alexius is alive. They have him, don't they? I rebuilt my life from ashes. Do you understand? And now you tell me you're alive. to get him back. He's too far gone. I gave up on you both once. Never again. What the hell did you... you... I have a lot of questions. I think we both do. But ask. I'll answer what I can. I want to know about my real father. How did you know? I was told. Nikolaos, you saw him? In Megaris, yes. Nikolaos was your father. He was the man who raised you. Until he took his Spartan duty too far. He mentioned another. What can you tell me about him? I always hoped you would never need to discover the truth. But there are things you need to know if we are to stop the cult. What do you mean? He sought me out before I knew your fa... Nikolaos. I've not heard from him in a long time. What's wrong? Soldiers from Paros just made landfall in the cove. A small force, maybe a dozen. Malaka. Timo, gather the troops. Questions will have to wait, Lam. I want to help. I assume you can use those weapons? Better than when you last saw me. Good. Come. Who is attacking? Paros, across the bay. It seems Silanos has finally grown tired of sharing the marble tray. Why now? We've always had problems with Paros. I expected an attack, just not so soon. I guess the time for talking is over. <laughs> Allies often forget their allegiances when opportunity beckons. <laughs> Why are you working with Sparta, given all that's happened? Paros made an alliance with the Athenians, so they left me little choice. You needed support. A rivalry with Paros is one thing, but they turned it into a war. Their partnership with Athens was too much to weather for Naxos alone.
them! Stop them! Charge! I'll take you down. Kill you! There's always been a rivalry between the islands. After all, Naxos used to control Paros and Andros. They're envious of our craftsmen, too. And now? They think they deserve expansion. Their oligarch demands their wings spread wide. But we'll clip their wings before that happens. They don't know who they're up against. You remind me of Nikolaos. You fight just like him. Ruthless and cunning. He would be proud. never forgotten what you both taught me. I had a good education. I wanted you to be unstoppable. And you are. I don't understand why the cult targeted our family. There are many reasons, Lam. What did we ever do to them? Now that we're reunited, it's more a question of what we could do to them. They fear us. Your ancestors have been a thorn in their side for generations. They've decided we need to be eliminated to ensure their plans come to fruition. The cult will pay for all they've done to our family and the Greek world. You are mighty, Lam. But you cannot defeat that beast with sword and spear alone. I'll use any weapon I can to make them suffer as we have. What happened to you in Argolis after that night? I found your brother and rushed to a young doctor's apprentice, Hippocrates. I thought I'd lost you. I wasn't ready to lose you both. I spoke with him recently. That night still haunts him. I was heartbroken when the healers in Asclepios told me Alexios was dead. The two of you were my whole world. But he did live. They lied to you. They must have realized he was special and handed him over to the cult. He's been brainwashed. He believes he's doing what's right. Some have successfully abandoned the cult. We could bring him back. We owe it to him to try. I know you left Sparta, but how did you end up on this island? I couldn't stand by Nikolaos after what he did. I had to get out of Sparta. So why here? I saw an opportunity to help people, to grow something. I was elected to rule and protect this island from those who would ruin what we've built. You've done some incredible things. Naxos is lucky to have you as its leader. It's not been without its difficulties, but I'm proud of what we've achieved. 
It's a pity there aren't more leaders like you. Let's continue this discussion somewhere the smell of death doesn't linger. Ride with me. When I brought you to the Pythia as a baby, she never said we would live a nightmare. She said you had such promise. The Pythia can't predict everything. Your general acted quickly, raising the alarm. Dino knows Paris is a threat. They make their business clear. They can't be more clear than sending soldiers. And there's no treaty? Maybe their marks, but it's long over. Now there's no mistaking them for anything but the enemy. An enemy? I could help you defeat. We'll discuss that later. But I think you're right. Paros must be stopped. Paros must be stopped. The temple's coming along, Evandros. It will stay in ruins if we don't secure more donations. Soldiers can't get all the funds. They can if you don't want the temple destroyed by our It's a good deed restarting construction. Ligdamis was a great man who deserves reverence. His battles against corruption and oligarchy are lessons we all should remember. I do intend to finish the temple. Thank you, Felix. What a strange day it has been. But a good one. I've certainly had worse. <laughs> Me too. You have grown into a remarkable woman. But I see the burden you carry on your shoulders. Finding you has lessened it, I think. I'm glad. But I have wondered why the gods chose to reunite us now. I think they felt it was about time our family found each other again. If we want to be truly united, we have to find Alexios and rescue him from the cult's grasp. They are the source of all our pain, and they will cause more to many others unless we act. I put that life behind me the moment I left Sparta. I have Naxos to worry about now. Let me help you here. We can safeguard Naxos and then hunt down the cult together. Mirini, the symposium is about to start. By the gods. I'm sorry, my sweet. I forgot. Prepare the horses. I'll be out shortly. The symposium? I need to show the people their leader is strong and in control. Sometimes the face we show to the world needs to be one of strength, despite the chaos we harbor beneath. I will help you stop the cult. But before I can leave Naxos, I have to ensure it will survive without me. What do you need? Paros has to be dealt with. We need to weaken their position. Once they're vulnerable, they will make a reckless decision and we will strike. What did you have in mind? We must force the Paros fleet to engage us and destroy it. 
But my Admiral Aeneas is missing. His ship was sailing for Paros to engage in peace talks, and he never returned. Don't worry. I'll find him. If you need me, I'll be at the symposium. Although, try to look less intimidating should you choose to pay me a visit.